I was sitting here thinking about my body scan and I think I had 71 pounds of muscle on my body and I don't really have anything to compare that with because I I guess I didn't really sit around with my girlfriends and compare their pounds of fat and I don't I've this I'm new to this I, I've never done like competitions or anything like that so I don't really know if that's average or what that, that is so I, I wanted to see I wanted to see if I have like average um, pounds of muscle on my body for an average woman I put in there how many pounds of muscle average muscle mass it says for man like what is the average oh my gosh I don't know I'm not sure I'll have to try it on my computer and see maybe it's just a glitch and I'm just ranting for no reason <laughs> Okay, so I'm just doing some research here because I'm not an expert. Where'd it go? Oh my gosh. In one study that examined 468 men and women and was published in 1985, issue of the Journal of Applied Physiology, researchers determined that men had an average of 72.6 pounds of muscle, which is very close to mine. I'm like right there average. I, I'm 71. So I'm, I'm like, just a tip below what the average pounds of muscle on a man. <laughs> that makes me feel good because I'm super competitive <laughs> with the men for some reason. I don't know why. It's probably a good thing that we have mostly women at our gym because I would like kill myself trying to beat a man. So like there are a few men that I know that come in and work out when I'm working out and I have to like secretly, I, they can't know that I'm competing with them because if they knew then it wouldn't even be a competition, they would just win. <laughs> so they can't know, but I know, you know, I have to beat them. Back to what I was saying. Okay, so I was like, all right, I'm right there. What do you think the average pound of muscle on a woman is? I was actually so disappointed in this. <laughs> the average pounds of muscle on a woman is 46.2 pounds. <sighs> Come on, ladies. Sheesh, that's like little. Okay, I guess I need to take into account that some women are just really like petite. I mean, like my mom, like my skinny mom. She's very petite. 46 pounds is seems like a small amount of muscle. And you know what? Maybe that's just physiology. But I sometimes wonder if that is our culture having taught us that we're supposed to not build muscle. And I have to admit, I've heard women say that. I've heard women say, oh, no, 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 I, I don't want to bulk up too much. I don't want to be bulky. Well, and that's their prerogative. If they don't want to be bulky, they don't have to. But I like bulking. I love having muscle on my body. It makes me feel competent and capable. And why would I want to just give in to the fact that all men are stronger than me? I mean, I know they are. <laughs> when I first joined, I was a little bit obsessed with not bulky. And I would sometimes, when I was on the weight side, I would sneak back over to the cardio side because in my mind, all I wanted to do was cardio to thin down, which is true. The more cardio you do, it is kind of for leaning, okay? And that was what I immediately wanted. But what I wasn't realizing at the time was that Yes, you might see more immediate results if you just do cardio, 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 cardio. And I understand that you need to have, uh, for me anyways, I did need to see results right away so that I wouldn't give up. But I'm telling you that the real reason why it's okay for women to bulk and women shouldn't be afraid to have a little bit of muscle on them. First of all, you're not going to be as bulky as a man. Um, I'm not going to do steroids. It's not, you know, I'm not like doing heavy, heavy lifting. So I, I'm not going to get like a man. I, I mean don't think so. But what I like about having a lot of muscle on my frame is that I can eat so much food. I have found my success because the little girl that heard from my mom, you have to cut down and eat half a sandwich, knew I would never be able to eat only half a sandwich. And so in my mind, I was already defeated when my mother told me this story, which she thought so lovingly was helping. And I know she meant it lovingly, but it didn't help. I love food. I have to be able to eat. I am a regular person who has been fat most of my life. In closing, I'm going to leave you with some various photos of myself at various stages of my life. I'm going to show you how I've, I've gone up and down. There were several times in my life where I did starve myself, just like my mom.
because I thought that was the only way to do it. But when you starve yourself, you lose all your muscle too. And I'll try to caption them and so you can kind of get kind of some of the ups and downs I've gone through. And um, hey guys, feedback, feedback, feedback. I want to hear from you guys too. I started getting Karina's information. She's going to tell me her whole story. So we're hopefully going to go through Karina's story too. And I'm hoping to get more people on board as we go along. So if you like my videos, if you like this community, please tell all of your friends about it and um, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for the notifications and like my video, share it. I'm telling you guys, it is the best way to get in shape for just regular people. I'm not a trainer. I am a regular person who has been fat most of my life.